Yo, if you ever, ever get a chance to do a session where Dr. Dre is producing you, I highly recommend it. So I've only worked with Dr. Dre on one song and it's the best verse I ever spit in my life. When I got to the studio, Dre already had the song. It already had vocals on it. The hook was on it. The shit was jamming. And they said, we want you to say these words. So, you guys never heard it. Shit never came out. It was supposedly for the Detox album. Plenty of people in Dre's circle heard it and came to me and was like, oh shit, oh shit. And I'm like, yep, they, they Frankenstein me and I was fucking flowing and the world never got to hear it. I called Snoop Dogg. I don't know if I saw him or called him, but I talked to Snoop and I said, I'm about to work with Dre for the first time. And I'm so glad I told him that because Snoop said, whatever you do, just do what he says. Just do it. Whatever the fuck he said do, just do it. And he said, he added in, he said, Dre, uh, he'll break a rapper down. Like he'll just like, he'll just break you down to where you just get frustrated. You throw everything on the ground. You just walk out and go, I can't do this shit. So he was like, don't do that. Just do what he says do, trust me. So I didn't really know the gist of what that meant, but I took his advice. He said, do what Dre, Dre says. I know Dre's the greatest fucking producer, not just West Coast, he's the greatest fucking producer. Body of work, motherfuckers dope. Then we get it down, and then he starts to like Dr. Dre the shit. So we're gonna go through the song, 16 bar verse. We're gonna go through the song, and we're going to fix every phrase, every breath, every word. If you didn't say it the right way, you're gonna fix every fucking thing. Like we literally spent a lot of time on the word and. Where some part where I said something, something, and something, he's like, no, nah, you gotta say and. And you know, and I, I, it takes a while. We do a, I do an eight hour session with Dre. So I just told you I can fucking lay a verse down in a couple hours, like easy. That's, that's, that's a lot. But I can fucking, that's easy. A couple hours is done. Y'all gonna love the shit, whatever. Dre hits me back in a few days and goes, there's a few things we need to fix on the song. We changed a couple lines and we just need you to come back. Come back to the second session and we do another fucking eight hours of me doing the same fucking verse, change about four bars, did some shit. He like, do this part, do that part like that. Dre looks at me, everybody in the studio, this shit is dope. So Dre calls me a few days later and he says, man, this shit is dope, but it's just one thing, one thing gotta be fixed. In my verse, I said something about the pussy. And he said, you're not saying the pussy right. So I get in the booth and for four hours, I say, he push and record, and I, I go, the pussy. And then Dre say, no, say the pussy. So I go, the pussy. And then he say, nope, the pussy. We did that shit for four hours. I never did no shit like that, but I went back, told Snoop my shit. I was like, bro, he did it to me. He said, I was, it was fucking two eight hour sessions and a four hour session for a 16 bar verse. But like I told you at the beginning, the end of the story first, it was the best fucking verse ever spent in my whole damn life. I heard it maybe, I heard it maybe five, if I've exaggerated, I might've heard it 10 times, maybe. It's like the whole detox mystery of uh, detox, literally, as far as I know, had about 200 songs and none of that shit ever came out. I heard a lot of detox songs, them shit sounded great, like great. So, you know, if you ever get a chance to work with Dr. Dre, I highly recommend it. And like Snoop said, just do whatever the fuck he says and you will spit the best verse you ever spit in your life. Don't quit. The pussy. <laughs> no, really, I just say the pussy. The pussy. Bars.